I was the type of drug addict, I could not go a day, I could not go a second without my drugs. They say you can't be addicted to it, but I, man, I've had some days when it was just like I needed marijuana for me to function. Well, I didn't even think of drugs as addictive. I just thought they were just something you did. I didn't know it was, you, my life was going to depend on it. I, I feel very strongly that addiction is a brain disease. I think there's ample evidence, compelling evidence, that there are profound changes that occur in the brains of people who are addicted to certain substances. Weighing in at a mere three and a half pounds, the human brain is by far the most complex organ of the body. The brain processes information about the sights and sounds of the world around us. It is responsible for how we think. It coordinates how our muscles move. It stores and recalls our memories. It determines how we feel about ourselves and how we feel pleasure and pain. The brain also determines how people experience different kinds of drugs. From the rush of pleasurable highs that lure them to use a drug to begin with, to the cravings and compulsive behavior that come with addiction. For scientists like Stephen Dewey at Brookhaven National Laboratory on Long Island and Aaron White of Duke University in North Carolina, the brain has become a central focus of their efforts to understand the causes and consequences of drug addiction, particularly during adolescence. The brain, particularly during the teenage years, is incredibly moldable. It's like a big lump of clay. And every experience that you have helps mold and shape that lump of clay in potentially permanent ways. We, we now know from, 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 from some very recent and compelling studies that the brain changes basically through life, um, but at a period of adolescence is changing a great deal. And it, it's a particularly vulnerable time and a time we need to be very careful. Are teens more susceptible to the risks of becoming addicted? Do drugs pose even greater risks to teenagers? These are not new questions, but recent brain research has provided new insights that may help answer them. For example, researchers have discovered that a part of the brain, called the frontal lobes, is still maturing during the teenage years. The frontal lobes play an essential role in keeping us from making decisions that we're going to regret, and that includes decisions about substance use and abuse.